and welcome to method number one we're going to talk about the debt snowball before I actually dive into this particular section I want to make sure that you got your attack money okay so if you did not add up as far as how much money you can use to attack your debt then you need to go back to the last module where I explain what attack money is all about because without it it is very hard to get out of debt so you need to figure out exactly how much money you can use to be able to attack your debt. So in this example, we're just going to say, just for giggles, we have a person named John, okay, or Mary. And uh, John, he already he completed his financial analysis form. And after he completed everything, he figured out that he had an extra $200 left over that he can use to attack his debt. So that's his attack money. All right, so <clears throat> John... He has two credit cards, okay? Well, uh, with credit card one, he has a balance of $800, has an interest rate on this card of 15%, and his minimum payment every month is $25. That's on card one. On card two, he actually ran this up to $8,000, all right? On his second credit card, has a 12% interest rate, and his minimum uh, monthly payment is $60. Uh, John has two cars and his first auto loan that he has is he has ten thousand dollars left, okay, on on his financing at nine percent, paying two hundred and twenty-five dollars a month. All right, on his second auto loan, I'm um, kind of jumping around here. It's a seven thousand uh, dollar balance with a seven point five percent interest rate, paying three hundred dollars a month. But then John also has student loans. Okay, he has. Uh, $25,000 left in student loans, paying 4% at $125. This is a very, very typical situation. I think that um, I'm actually probably being a little generous, uh, but it doesn't matter what your situation is. Let's talk about how the debt snowball method can apply to your personal situation. So <clears throat> the whole purpose of the debt snowball is to pay off your smallest balance and snowball it over to the next one, all right? So when we look at everything here, we recognize that the smallest one we have, if I'm looking at it, is what you would see is credit card one, all right? So this is the first one, the thing that we wanna actually pay off first. So what John is going to do is take his $200 and attack this $800. So he only has to pay $25 a month. But with his attack money, he's now going to take 200 on top of his 25, and he's going to be paying $225 a month until credit card one is paid off, okay? Now, on everything else, we are not paying any additional money on our debts with the debt snowball method, okay? So I know some of you all, maybe giving your other credit cards or your car company uh, or your student loans a little bit more money, that's fine. However, with the debt snowball method, you only want to pay the minimum payment on everything besides the smallest debt. So it's very important that you remember that. So John is paying this $225 on credit card one every month, every month until it's done. All right, now when this credit card is paid off, John still has this $225, okay, it's 200 attack money, but don't think because this credit card is paid off that you don't no longer have to use the minimum payment. You've been uh, paying it already. We want to now add that. This is now your new attack money. You have $225, all right, that we're using. So the next debt that we have, as I'm looking here, is the auto loan. If I do it correctly, yeah. So the next debt in line is the auto loan. Now, he's already paying $300 towards that, but now he's taking this $225 and snowballing it, all right, to this $300 payment. So now, a total of $525 is being snowballed onto this second auto loan until this one is completely paid off. All right, so this was number two that he's gonna be paying off. So this is done. All right, kind of getting some black 
uh, marker on my red marker. Now that he has this paid off, John has now freed up with disposable income 300 additional dollars to guess what? Add to his attack money. All right? So we have 300 now dollars. We can cancel out these ones. So now he has a total of $525, all right, that he has in attack money. What's the next debt that we want to go after? Next one would be credit card number two. So you're kind of getting the gist of it. Credit card number two, he's only paying uh, $60 a month with that. So he's now going to be taking his $525 plus 60, all right, do my math correctly while I'm on camera, is $585, all right, this is now what he's going to be snowballing, all right, as you can see, folks, this thing continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so he's taking this $585, attacking his third debt until this is now paid off. He can now add his additional $60, all right, and now John has $585 in attack money. After we now pay off, I'm going to just kind of put a check through this so I don't continue to keep uh, butchering my, my red marker here. The next debt that we're going to uh, cross out, next one in line, looks like is auto loan number one. He has $10,000 there. John has been paying $225, all right? So now he has $585 worth of attack money uh, going towards his auto loan. So now, a little bit of math here, 225, carry it, carry it, six. All right, so now we're talking about $810 that John is able to uh, contribute towards paying off his first auto loan that he has here. So now he's snowballing this into auto loan number one until this one is now paid off. So his new attack money that he has is $810. Do you see how this thing starts to really uh, start snowballing here? It's a great method, all right? now. His last debt after this is paid off is those student loans. We know those student loans are a killer. And one thing about student loans, just as far as a little side note, generally it's the hardest one to get rid of. However, even if a person files for bankruptcy, this is still one that stays on there. Let me just tell you something, folks. This is one that will stay with you until you pay it off. There is no way around it. You got to give Sally Mae her money back. I'm telling you, she'll garnish your wages if you do not pay it off. Uh, with that being said, John is paying $125 um, a month towards his student loans and attack money. He has $810 to now, guess what? Snowball, we talked about it. Now with this $810 plus uh, $125, we're talking about now a total of $935 that he's using to attack his student loans. Folks, whenever all of this stuff is paid off, John is debt free. But not only is John debt free, but folks, he has a total of $935 of disposable income, not only to now attack his debt, but now to start investing. And this is what it's all about. We need to get you on this side here. With that being said, I want to take you to the next module where I talk about a different step of how to pay off your debt. Also, uh, before I let you go, uh, there's a, another video that goes with this on the computer where we actually see this in real time on the Excel spreadsheet. Thank you for watching. See you on the next module.